The tooltip tells you what the tool is and how to use it. And also, if you do want to read more, if you need more help, you can press F1. AutoCAD Help will open to the right place. You can scroll down and find a number of examples and more specific instructions on how to use the tool. If you don't see the tooltip, go to the Options window, go to the Display tab, and check this option, Show Tooltips. We can also opt to show shortcut keys in the tooltips, as well as show the extended tooltips that you saw a moment ago. Here we set the number of seconds to delay before the extended tooltip flies out. Right now it's two seconds. Let's cancel out. By the way, if you right click in blank model space, you can scroll down to options and open the same window. Let's cancel out for now. In the left corner of model space are the viewport controls. If you left click, you'll see that we're in the top view. That's the one that's marked with a check mark. You can switch to the left view just by selecting it or any of these other views. We've also got visual style controls available here. 2D wireframe is selected currently. We also have conceptual, hidden, realistic, shaded, shaded with edges, and so on. Under the view tab, we can access the same options. Here they are visual style 2D, conceptual, hidden, realistic. Shaded, shaded with edges, shades of gray, and so on. I've just come back to the Home tab. I'd like to talk a little more about the ribbon now. The panels on the ribbon can be undocked just by dragging them out into model space. And here we can toggle the panel orientation. 